Hello and welcome to O Worm. Today we'll be taking a look at the anatomy of the larynx. So this is a sheep larynx, which is pretty similar to a human larynx. So the larynx is a segment of the respiratory tract that connects the pharynx, which is above it, to the trachea, which is below. It is located in the top of the neck and is involved in functions such as breathing, producing sound, and protecting the trachea while swallowing. The larynx also houses the vocal cords, which is why it is sometimes called the voice box. So now let's take a look at the external anatomy. So now I'm just going to cut away all the extra fat and muscle tissue around the larynx so we can see the structures better. So here around the larynx, you can see these muscle fibers attached to it. So here's some muscle, and all of this is the muscle, and here's another muscle. And these muscles are called the laryngeal muscles, which perform two important functions. Some laryngeal muscles act to move the larynx up and down during swallowing, while other laryngeal muscles act to lengthen or tense the vocal cords, controlling sound production. Now I'm going to remove these as well so we can see the cartilage beneath. So now that we can see the larynx, we can position it. So here is the superior end, right here, which means near your head. And here is the inferior end, which means near your chest. And here is the anterior side, which means this is your front side. And here is the posterior side, which means this is near your back. Okay, so the first structure we'll look at here is this flap. And this is called the epiglottis. Normally it's open, like this, which allows air to move down the larynx into the trachea, which is here. However, when you swallow, it closes over the top like this, blocking the trachea and making sure that the food goes down the only other hole, which is this esophagus right here. So this is the esophagus right here. And if something goes wrong with this system, that's when you have food or water quote unquote going down the wrong pipe, aka the trachea, right here. This can be dangerous because it can result in choking. So here on the inferior side, you can see the trachea again, right here. And if I put my probe in, you'll see it comes out through the trachea on the other end as well. So here. So next to the trachea is the esophagus right here. And if I put my probe in through here, you can see that it comes out through the entrance to the esophagus that we saw earlier, which is uh, right here. Okay, so the epiglottis here is at the back of the throat, but at the front of the throat here is the hyoid bone. It's this horseshoe shaped bone here that is unique for many reasons. The larynx in general is made almost entirely of cartilage, except for the only bone in that region, the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone is also known for being the only bone in humans that articulates only with muscular, ligamentous, and cartilaginous attachments, 
and with no other bone. Because of this, it has been described as quote-unquote free-floating. Now below that, here is the thyroid cartilage. So it's this, and all of this. This is the largest structure in the larynx. It forms the front wall of the larynx right here, and shields the vocal cords, which are located directly behind it. Despite its name, the thyroid cartilage doesn't really have anything to do with the thyroid gland, which is located further down the throat. Rather, both the thyroid cartilage and the thyroid gland are named for their shapes. Thyreos in Greek means shield-shaped. Now in human males, these plates of thyroid cartilage meet at a steeper angle right around here. So around 90 degrees compared to 120 degrees in females, which makes it protrude more. This is what forms the Adam's apple. Now let's take a look at the internal anatomy. Place it anterior side up like this and cut along the midline. So this is a sagittal section of the larynx. You can see the epiglottis right here, and you can see the hyoid bone here, and this is the thyroid cartilage. And this section here is the trachea, this whole section. And now here you can see the vocal cords. The vocal cords are these bands of elastic muscle tissue that sit just above the trachea inside the larynx. Vocal cords function in creating sounds for speech. When you're silent, the cords remain open, creating a passage for air. But when you speak, the vocal cords close, and the air from your lungs is forced through these closed vocal cords. This causes them to vibrate. Faster vibration produces higher pitch sounds, while slower vibration results in lower pitch sounds. So you can see that there are actually two vocal cords. So this one, which is inferior, is called the true vocal cords. The true vocal cords are more delicate and are the primary vocal cords involved in voice production and phonation. And these vocal cords that we saw before, so the ones that are more superior, are called the false vocal cords. These don't play a role in voice production, but when vibrated, can create a deep, rough voice quality, screams, or growls. Alright, that's the end of the larynx dissection. Thanks for staying, lads. Here's a fun fact about the larynx to send you on your way. When you whisper, you're not actually using your vocal cords. Instead, whispers are produced as air passes through the larynx, creating turbulence, which we hear as a high-pitched hiss. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.